everybody. We don't have school this Friday, but I thought that we could make something just for fun. This is called a folded surprise drawing. So what it is, is something that looks like one picture, but when you open it, ah, it changes. A couple of reminders is uh, to make yours, not mine. Don't go crazy if it doesn't turn out exactly like mine. Pause the video as much as you want to so that you can catch up with me. I thought that maybe if you want to try it over the break or something, you can. Uh, let's get started on our folded surprise Easter egg chick drawing. Okay, so I'm going to use one of my plain papers to begin with. I'm gonna be folding it in half, kind of like how this one is folded in half. So we're looking at the plain side where our artwork is going to be. And then we're going to be folding it in half. So I'm going to bring this side to this side. And I'm looking at the back of my scrap paper. And then I'm going to crease. And I'm going to take my other finger and crease that way. The next fold, you're going to take now this edge Curve it back until you get to here. And now see this little bubble right here? We're gonna squish that bubble, crease, put my finger back there, squish that bubble, crease, and now I have something that looks like this, okay? So if you wanna push pause, go ahead. You need to do that again. Okay, so you should have flipped it over, and now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So we're gonna grab this, and we're going to roll it back, and this edge is going to be lined up with this edge. Gonna put it there, and now this little bubble right here, we're gonna press and crease. Hold it, press, and crease. Okay, now I want you to pick up your paper all folded together. So it looks a little bit like this. The middle part where the surprise is of the drawing, I'm going to pinch together on both sides. That's for the inside where the surprise will be. These two parts I can pick up like this. You're going to lay that down flat and I'll kind of show you what we're working towards. This is what I just did with this paper. This is the part we pinched. That's where the surprise is. So this is the part right here that we wanna be drawing our, our front drawing before we see the surprise, okay? So we're gonna lay it just like this and now we are going to draw together the shape of the egg. So what is the shape of the egg? If you guessed oval, you are right. And I have an egg shape here. <clears throat> so we wanna draw as large as we can. So the top of our egg is gonna be all the way up here. The bottom of our egg is going to be all the way down here. So we're going to draw our oval. I'm gonna start at the halfway mark and start to draw a line going up to that point. Then I'm gonna bring my line back down. I'm gonna make it as wide as I can. And then down here, we'll be doing the same thing. Just making a little bit wider at the bottom because the top is a little bit pointier. Okay, so there's our oval, the outside shape of our egg. Okay, so next we're going to open so we had this, right? I'm grabbing the top flap and we're going to open it. So the first thing that we are going to do is draw our zigzaggy line on the bottom of the egg and our zigzaggy line on the top of the egg. Boop, boop, boop. So up here at the top, we're gonna bring it down past this fold line. Our zigzag line is gonna cross that fold line and we can draw any kind of zigzag line that we want. It can look like a perfect zigzag or it can look a little bit jaggedy. Then we're going to do the same thing on the bottom. 
Okay, now we're gonna draw this cute little chick. So we're gonna try and pay attention to the folded lines to make sure that our chick comes up pretty close to the top of the egg and he's not all tiny down here. So if you look at your very first fold line that you made, you should be able to see it, it's right here. We want the top of the head to come just above that folded line. Do you see that there? So I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna draw a curved line like that, like a rainbow line, a curved line from here to here. Then I'm going to draw the rest of the chick's head coming out here. And then this line's gonna come around and curve there. We can bring, see how the lines come in a little bit more and a little bit more? We just wanna make sure we make that happen. Then we're going to do a curved line for the body and another curved line for the body. So let's add that slightly curved line and then this slightly curved line, okay? So there's his head and the sides of his body. Okay, next we're going to add his tiny little feathers at the top. So it's three curved lines, ready? Bump, the middle bump is gonna be taller and we can even curve it a little. And another bump, whee! And then we're gonna add some lines so it looks like feathers. So I'm gonna trace some curved lines and trace more curved lines. And then I'm gonna add some diagonal lines here, diagonal lines there. So they look like the feathers on the top of the chick's head. And now we are going to do the face, okay? So this, you might wanna push pause anytime that you need to. I'm trying to leave enough space in between my words so that you can push pause easily. Let's start in the middle with his little cheap, cheap beak, okay? So what shape is that, boys and girls? Right, it's a triangle and it's going to be down the bottom point of his triangle is near the bottom of his face. So we have to measure that up, okay? It's right about there. So now we're going to come up on the one side, up on the other side. Isn't that just like a triangle? And across. And I'm gonna go back and make these a little bit round. Okay, you can put two tiny straight lines here for the details of the beak. Next, we're gonna do the eyes. Notice that the eyes are far apart from each other. There's a big space um, that helps them look cuter. So they're also quite large. So for the eyes, we're going to go like this. One nice size eye there. And then we're gonna add the two shines in the eye, the two white dots. I'm just gonna borrow that line where I made a little mistake. Two white shines on this side, one, two. And the bottoms of the eyes, I'm gonna do two curved. I looked online for ideas for drawing a cute chick. The name of it was called Draw So Cute. So if you wanna draw more animals that look like this, just adding some little details there. You can look her up, Draw So Cute. Okay. If you want to give your chick little eyelashes on the side, you can. And then if you wanna give her teeny tiny little eyebrows above her eyes, they're not right above her eyes, they're a little bit off to the side. One there, one there, okay? So now we're gonna to start to add some color to this and then we'll also be able to decorate our egg. We'll talk about different lines that we can put for our Easter.
now we can start decorating the egg. There are all different kinds of lines that you can decorate your egg with. And we've talked about this in school before, so I just wanted to review those with you. I gathered some crayon or marker colors really quick of Easter type colors that I would like to use. I finished outlining and added some grass and I want to show you how I did the grass. Let's pretend this were the edge of the paper here and what I do is I take the point of my green marker, I kind of press it not real hard but I put it down as close to the bottom edge of the paper as I can and I flick up. I take that pressure off of the crayon and it makes it look like these faded blades of grass. The faster you do it, I think the more natural it looks. The less you think about it, the more natural it looks as well. Okay, now let's operate our surprise puppet drawing. So you're gonna find your folds again. The first one is here, right where his head is. And then these are the two flaps, okay? You could have added a butterfly flying around, anything else you want in your picture as well. And if you hold the two pieces like this and you pull apart, surprise! All right, boys and girls, I hope you had a lot of fun. Um, remember, you don't have to send this to me. This is just for fun. I just wanted to throw something in there for Easter along with dyeing your Easter eggs. Happy Easter to you and your family. I want you all to enjoy it. We have no work to do for the next 10 days. Hallelujah. We've worked so hard. We all deserve this break. Um, I truly hope that you guys can get some rest, uh, clear your brains for a little bit, and I will see you when we get back.